What's going on everyone? Today we'll be looking at the Guvis G3 Max that was sent out to me by Guvis. This is my first 5K Cinema hit mounted display, so I'm excited to see what this product is all about. So let's get started. First off, the Guvis G3 Max is a $800 5K OLED cinematic hit mounted display that aims to provide you with the highest quality, features, and comfortability in cinema-like viewing. With two 2560 by 1440 display at 120Hz, with a color gamut of 95% CDP, P3, and 3528 PPI, the display of the Guvis is incredibly sharp and vibrant and is perfect to watch movie or play games on. It has notable features such as its built-in diopter and pupil distant adjustment to help accommodate your needs and improve your cinema experience. It works both in 2D and 3D and can support a variety of devices from smartphone, iPad, notebook, Xbox, PlayStation to Blu-ray disc player. This versatile display headset after all can be all you need to have your own personal cinema at home or on the go. Now let's get to the unboxing. First out of the box, we have here the Guvis nicely packaged with a few documentation. First we are provided with a nice cleaning cloth that you can use to clean the lens on your headset. Next we have the Guvis quick startup guide which go over all the contents that are included and how to install and use the Guvis properly. Next we have here the D4 portable media player quick reference guide that shows you how to set up and use your new portable media player. That's all the documentation that are included and here we have the Guvis G3 Max case. All the content that you will need to get the Guvis going is all in this nice premium hard rubberized Guvis case which I thought was very nice as now you can safely store everything together in one place and at the same time use it as a carrying case to take your Guvis with you. The case unzipped all the way around and as you can see everything was nicely packaged inside. First we have here the headband. It is made of flexible plastic with protruding plastic arms. The headband and arms both contain removable padded inner foam for your forehead and the top of your head. They are soft and comfortable and do not cause any kind of discomfort or pressure on your head while wearing them. Next we have the D4 media player remote control. The headset does not have direct control over the media player so all control will need to be done from the remote. Now we have a 9.5 inch HDMI to HDMI cable that will be used to connect your HDMI to type C adapter with your media player. Up next we have here the D4 portable media player. It has a quad core ARM Cortex A35 processor with 2GB of RAM and 16GB of storage. It runs on Android TV version 11 and has a quick and responsive interface to allow you to quickly access many popular apps on Google Play. It also has a micro SD card slot to play back your own content if you wish. The cool thing about this media player is that it has a detachable 8000 mAh power bank base with a playtime of up to 6 hours. I was able to stream up to 5 hours of content without the need of any additional power source. Once the power bank base is out of juice, it can easily be recharged using the provided USB-C cable or you can bypass it and provide power directly to the media player itself. Here we have the HDMI to Type-C adapter that will be used to connect the media player to the headset. It has an added clear texturized grip cover which is both appealing and functional. Now we have here the Guvis G3 Max. I'm highly impressed and really like how premium the headset look and feel as I'm holding it. It has a very clean premium and modern design and the color scheme of gray and black really flows together. All the parts and buttons have nice clean edges and cut out and they all sit perfectly against each other. The headset alone weights around 200 grams, which is lightweight and shouldn't cause any discomfort for anyone wearing them. Overall, I really like the whole design of the headset and how well it was put together. Let's go ahead and put it off to the side for now. Next on top of the pocket here, we have some cables. First, we have a 32 and half inch type A to USB-C cable that can be used to charge the media player. Next, we have a long 48 inch USB-C to USB-C cable, which will be used to connect the media player adapter to the headset. And here we have an adjustable rear head strap that velcro to the back of the headband to provide you with the perfect fit. With that out of the way, let's go back and take a closer look at the Guvis G3 headset and see all the neat features it has. In front of the headset, we have the Guvis name in the center with the LED light bar that lights up when the headset is being used. It is pretty cool and in my opinion, somewhat remind me of the Robocop helmet. On top of the headset, we have the volume adjustment buttons on the left that you can use to adjust the volume of the built-in speaker.
This built-in speaker is not too loud, but it's sufficient to use if you do not have any other source of output. To really be immersed in the cinema experience, I would recommend connecting a headphone or speaker via auxiliary or Bluetooth from the D4 media player. Toward the right, we have the brightness button, which allows you to adjust the brightness of the screen or turn off the front breathing light bar by holding the increased brightness button. In the center, there's a hidden alternative USB-C port that can also be used besides the one that is located on the side. On the inside here, we have two lenses. These lenses use multiple aspherical lenses with six lenses total to give you 70% optical efficiency. In between the lens, there's a release button to easily release the attached headband and right below that, there's a proximity sensor that automatically detects and turns off the headset once you remove the headset off your head. This is an excellent feature in reducing battery consumption as well as extending the life of your headset. All these parts are wrapped over by this removable black silicone face mask. This face mask is well ventilated and comfortably sit flush against your face to prevent any ambient light from coming in while you're using the headset. This helps reduce fatigue and provide more immersive cinema experience. In addition to the ventilated silicone mask, Guvis has an active cooling and anti-fog air conditioning system which helps prevent fogging and provide the headset with the maximum heat dissipation. On the side we have two independent 2D 7D adopter adjustment knob for each eyes. This is an excellent feature as it accommodates users with prescription glasses to use the headset without them needing to wear their glasses. When adjusting the knob, the adjustment value will clearly be displayed on the screen to make adjustment as easy as possible. Beneath the right knob, we have here another USB-C port to connect to the media player. On the left knob, there is an auxiliary port that allows you the option to use the headphones if you like. Bluetooth is also supported from the media player setting if you would like to connect your Bluetooth devices. Toward the bottom, we have two pupil distant adjustment knob where you can adjust the distance accordingly between 55mm to 72mm. This will make sure that the image is nice and clear and that you do not see any overshadowing in the image. The whole setup process of the Guvis G3 Max is rather simple and straightforward. Once we remove all the labels, all we need to do is attach the headband into the open slot on top of the headset. Now we can attach the velcro rear head strap onto the headband. It can be adjusted as needed to get the perfect fit. The Guvis G3 Max is only 300 gram and is comfortable to wear with a balance of pressure distribution evenly on your head to help reduce fatigue during prolonged use. The face mask provides a snug fit against your face without any excessive pressure that will leave pressure mark on your face whatsoever. If you need a quick break from the headset, it can be flipped 90 degree upward or you can completely remove the headband with the press of a button. All the buttons and knobs located on the headset are easy to find and use while you have the headset on. Overall, I'm very pleased with the quality and ease of use of the Guvis G3 Max. Now to get the Guvis G3 Max working, you can connect the Guvis to any compatible devices via the USB-C and HDMI adapter. For this purpose, we will use the D4 media player that came with the Guvis. First, the media player remote will require two AAA battery, which are not included. Now we have here the media player box, which came halfway charged, so we're just gonna go ahead and use that for now. First, we will connect one end of the HDMI cable to the media box and the other end to the USB-C adapter. After that, we will use a USB-C to USB-C cable to connect the adapter to the headset. Once connected, we can turn on the media player by pressing and holding onto the power button until the LED lights come on. The media player will take you through the normal setup for using your media device for the first time. Once the setup process is completed, you are now ready to watch your favorite movie or show. The D4 media player, in my opinion, is a powerful little media player that is stable, fast, and easy to use. The interface is responsive and works perfectly like any streaming stick. It is easy to use and navigate to get your favorite app on the Google Play Store started quickly. It has voice activate control for easy search, Chromecast for easy casting from a mobile device, and it has Bluetooth 5.0 to pair to your favorite Bluetooth device. It is able to display content in 4K, so with it being paired with the Guvis G3 Max, the image is super smooth and vibrant. 
with dual 2.5K micro OLED screen with a pixel per degree of 45 and a display field of view of 65 degrees, there is no doubt that what you see will be super sharp and clear. And that is literally how it was. There was no blur edge or screen door effect. It has a 95% DCP P3 color gamut, so the screen is very vibrant, vivid, and looks way better than most screen that I've seen before. As stated by Guvis, the Guvis feature an immersive and realistic 1000 inch giant screen at 20 meters and seeing the screen through the Guvis headset does give you an effect as if you were sitting in front of the cinema. Also with a 120Hz high refresh rate, this headset is perfect to be used for gaming as the high refresh rate allows for the image to be super smooth with no drag whatsoever. Compatibility is also great with the Guvis G3. With being HDMI and Type-C compatible, this headset works on a variety of devices and applications. As you can see here, I can easily connect the Guvis to my Chromebook with the provided USB-C cable and watch video from there if I wanted to. And if you are into gaming, this headset works great for gaming as well. As you can see, I'm able to connect my PS4 with the provided HDMI to USB-C adapter and play my favorite game as if I was sitting in the cinema. Gameplay here are clear and smooth without any lag, and it's a great way to enjoy your game on the big screen without bothering anyone. If you want to be wireless, you can use your D4 media player to cast content from your mobile devices and view your content on the big screen. The point here is that the Guvis is compatible with most devices out there, so you shouldn't have much trouble with connecting what you already have to the headset. After having the Guvis for a month now, I found the Guvis headset is perfect as a personal device that allows you to enjoy your time privately and be immersed in whatever you are watching. It is perfect to be used if you don't want to cause any disturbance to your family member, especially at night. I have used the headset to watch movies many times during the night without disturbing my little ones, and I have to say it works very well. I have also used the headset on long road trips, and this is by far the perfect way to enjoy high quality content on the road without bothering anyone. I did, however, get motion sickness after a while, but if you're not the type to get motion sickness, then this would be the perfect device for you. Best of all, if you're a sport fan and your game is on, you can throw this headset on, relax, and enjoy the game on the big screen. The Guvis has many use for it, and I'm sure you'll find one that you enjoy using it for. So in conclusion, if you're in the market for a cinema headset and don't mind spending a little over half a grand, then the Guvis G3 Max is a great cinema headset that is worth getting. Well, that'll be it for this unboxing and review of the Guvis G3 Max. Don't forget to click that like button and subscribe if you have not. There will be more tech reviews soon, so you don't want to miss out. I'll see you in the next one.